everyone thank you for tuning in i'm your instructor joy thank you very much for your continued support supporting me here and also my patreon page sending me kind questions comments booking lessons with me and volunteering with your time sending me kind um kind emails i really really appreciate in this video we're going to talk about the importance or where to place the thumb now we often work very hard to make it in tune and to, to make sure we can play fast passages or octaves or difficult one or even simply just extending pinky or any other finger where we want to place and but more or less sooner or later we face that when somehow we kept practicing practicing somehow it does not work as smoothly as we want and often i find it in my studio with my students also with myself that we dismiss the importance um, of correct placement of the thumb. So we're gonna talk about that one. So let's start first what um, those big pedagogues suggested were to place. So um, Carl Flesch suggested we place the thumb opposite side of the index finger, something like this. Now then our, the high fetch teacher says, rather place a uh, thumb beside a middle finger something oops, something like that and then Galamian comes no 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 it's better to place a thumb between index and between first and second finger in between something like that and then Suzuki comes and he says it is better in his opinion to place a thumb between index finger and the knot all the way like this. Which one is it that makes us even more confused, isn't it? When I um, suggest to my uh, beginner students or in general, I suggest that they place a thumb between one and two between index finger and the middle finger, same way that Galana suggested, because of most of us, when our hand is relaxed, um, this is most a relaxed way the thumb falls between one and two. Therefore, I find it easiest way for a thumb to be in between one and two, mostly like that for most of the hands. There's a little exception depending on the size of the hand, the shape of the hand and so on of the violinist. Now, however, I also mentioned it's equally important to know to keep your thumb flexible and be ready to adjust as needed. Not only as, as we go higher position, thumb has to be a little more active, moving its positions, but also depending on what, um, what shape or what fingering pattern you play, the thumb, thumb's position changes all the time, even when you play the single note. So we're gonna um, see how it works. Let's use subject technique book one, number five. This exercise goes like this. And then, then. So it has all different kind of fingering pattern, patterns with the same or similar type of notes which will allow us to explore all different kind of left hand position and then see how our left thumb uh, should work the most reliable and relaxed way so that we can get 100% if not close to 100% um, control of our left hand which will make the whole technique of left hand easier. So when it comes to open A, B, C sharp, D, and E, sex position, I'll play that part, that passage of subject. As you can see, my thumb is the right place between index finger and the knot, just like Suzuki said. But if I play B flat, C, D, and E flat, I have to place my thumb between one and two, just like Galanian suggested. But if I play B natural and C natural and D like this, then I need to place between one and two. But if I play E flat, it is easiest way for my left hand when the, my thumb is placed right the opposite of the one just a curve play suggested. Just to show you, there's no one way of correct finger, uh, correct placement for the left thumb, but one constantly has to adjust it. When fingering pattern is like this, it's better to thumb is a little away. When fingering pattern is like this, it's better when the thumb is between one and two. 
when fingering pattern is like that, it's better between the thumb is between one and two, and if, when it's like this, against uh, or the opposite of one. Okay. I'm not trying to make your violin playing harder, that's not the point, but I just want to show you that is, there's no one position which solves everything. I do suggest my students to place first my uh, thumb between one and two, but it's equally important to know to be flexible depending what fingering pattern you do, how to adjust your thumb, there it goes. Now, why do we have a hard time placing the thumb or allowing the thumb to adjust as it goes? Because it is natural for our hands to find the most comfortable way um, if we let it. The only reason our thumb is we're having a hard time to move our thumb or any other finger is because we're forcefully holding it. So we have to relax it just a little enough for the left hand to find its natural way. And that is a key of having reliable technique. That's key of being able to do all these fancy difficult passages that we want to play. Um, now, how do we achieve that? So, of course, one could just manually, I could manually show my students Place finger here, place thumb there, place thumb higher or lower depending on what finger pattern. One could start doing that well. But before all these things, one has to learn how to release the tension of the thumb so that you can allow the, the left hand, including the thumb, to shave its most natural way. Now, there's a, um, there are several things that you could try. Um, uh, one of these very popular pedagogue Fisher suggests that you rest your scroll somewhere either against a wall or against the furniture and take the thumb completely off and try to play the finger and the rest of it. Even though it's not impossible, when I try that one with myself and with my students, I find that one it's um, it creates more tension on the fingertip than getting rid of the tension of the thumb. So um, in my experience, it was counterproductive. However, I find it the other one that I'm about to show you is more effective when it comes to getting rid of the tension of the thumb, which is a little, I got the idea a little of the Dunis method. Basically, Dunis method is something that you are training the left hand so that each finger moves independently of others by lifting up or by plucking or by placing different one or uh, placing different uh, level of fingertip pressure. Long story short, so what I suggest is this one. While you play, let's say, this abstract uh, um, technique one, number five exercise, let's say we're trying this one. Now, we feel like the thumb is a little stuck. We feel tension, but we don't know how to let the thumb adjust its natural way. Then what you do is you let the thumb lift up of, of the neck and then place it again. By doing that one, you're literally forcing the left thumb to get rid of the pressure, which will release the thumb right away. Something like this. Then lift up. Then lift up again. Then shake your elbow a bit. Then thumb again. Then shake the left elbow a bit. And then, so also see if you can move your thumb sideways just to get familiar of the active left thumb movement as well as relaxed one. Notice I also ask you to shake your elbow a bit. In general, it's a good idea to keep the left thumb under the valley, but also it is often the case the valleys tend to lock, lock the left hand position. Make sure left elbow is uh, flexible by being able to move a little right and left as well as a thumb being able to lift up. If you feel comfortable then you can do that one in any passage you do and once you uh, develop the complete relaxation of the left hand if you di uh, discover the most natural way of your hand position the your thumb then basically your every single practicing will be always on the right track because you will be working on the most natural rear left hand shape which you want. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I wish you all happy violin play and I hope to see you again. Bye bye.